Hello, Storytime friends. How are you on this chilly February afternoon? Can you believe it's February already? February, that's the second month of the year, right? And it's still winter, but there's a fun day in February that has hearts. And we talk about love but all kinds of love, right? Like sweetheart love, that might be like your parents or your grandparents have, or like the love we have for our parents or the love we have for our friends. Does anybody give Valentine's cards at school? That's what it's called, right? Valentine's Day. And maybe heart-shaped candies or what else? What else do you do on Valentine's Day? Do you have special dinners? Sometimes we do that. We'll do a special dinner at our house, but like a family dinner because we love our families, right? Well, my stories today are going to be about Valentine's Day. And I dressed in my red and my heart earrings for this special day. Our first story is called the day it rained hearts. This morning at story time, Miss Denise said, only it wouldn't be rain here in February, it would be the day it snowed hearts, right? Shall we read it like that? Let's try, see if I can do it. One day, it started snowing hearts. And Cornelia Augusta caught one, she caught another and another it wasn't very hard so she caught some more it must be getting close to valentine's day she thought and she set to work making valentines the hearts she caught could make perfect cards cornelia augusta saw that all of her hearts were different she looked at each one from the front and the back and the side and decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends. She found seven that were more or less alike and strung them together with a needle and thread. I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took an especially handsome heart and pasted it on a piece of paper. In the center of the heart, she glued a cotton ball, one that was very white and soft, and she knew instantly who this card would be for. Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left. On the largest one, she drew circles and then very carefully cut them out. The other hearts were so small, she arranged all of them on one piece of paper. Around the heart, she painted patterns of many colors, then she folded her design in half. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive these. Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her Valentines and nailed them. It never snowed hearts again, not where Cornelia Augusta lived anyway. But it didn't matter because the next year, and the next, and all the years after that, Cornelia Augusta found other ways to make Valentines. That's super fun. Have you guys ever made your Valentines for your friends? I know I already asked you if some of you um, made Valentines or sent Valentines in school. Have any of you ever made heart Valentines? They're kind of fun. If you stop by the library, we do have some stuff to make hearts and valentines for you here. Our next story is called Lily's Chocolate Heart. It was almost bedtime on Valentine's Day. Lily had one chocolate heart left. It was wrapped in red foil. She decided to save it. Oh, 
Lily wanted to find the perfect place to keep the heart. Let me click on something really quick, friends. Let's see. I apologize. My computer started beeping at me. Let's go to the next page. Here we go. She looked under her bed, but it was too dusty. She looked inside her dresser, but it was too messy. She tried behind the radiator, too warm. She tried on top of the picture frame, too narrow. She tried between the books on the bookshelf, too tight. I know, said Lily. She unwrapped the heart and popped it into her mouth. Perfect, said Lily. When is it Valentine's Day again? Treats for Valentine's Day are super fun, right? Um, I think we'll do one more story. If my computer lets me here. We're having a little bit of a struggle. Okay, if you'll be my Valentine. If you'll be my Valentine, I'll kiss you on the nose. I'll scratch your ears and rub your head and pet your little toes. Does he have a kitty for a valentine? If you'll be my valentine, I'll give you extra treats. I'll give you two and maybe three and let you lick my feet. Ew, gross. If you'll be my valentine, I'll take you on a walk. I'll pull you in a wagon just for you and we can sing and talk. If you'll be my valentine, I'll write a special letter. I'll add some hugs and kisses too to make it even better. If you'll be my Valentine, I'll sit with you today. We'll read a book about some frogs if you don't want to play. If you'll be my Valentine, I'll take you in my car. You'll sit up front so you can look, but we won't go too far. If you'll be my Valentine, I'll sing a song for you. And when you fly up in the sky, then you can sing one too. If you'll be my Valentine, I'll pour our tea at three. Spicy cookies and an orange just for you and me. If you'll be my Valentine, I'll make you funny faces. You can make them back at me when we go different places. If you'll be my Valentine, then I'll be one for you. We'll love the trees and all the world. We'll love each other too. Happy Valentine's Day. So before I lose you, because my computer is doing some strange things today, I want to say to you, I think it would be super fun for you to make Valentine's for your friends, for your family, maybe special treats for your pets even for Valentine's Day. Today is the 10th, and Valentine's Day is on the 14th, so four more days you have to make some fun Valentines. And they can be hearts, or they can be really any shape you want your Valentines to be. But it's always really a nice thing to do to make sure that the people you love know how you feel. And it makes everybody feel really nice to have someone give them a special handmade card or gift. All right. I hope you enjoyed stories today. I'm sorry it's so short. Um, I'll work out my computer problems maybe and we'll see if we can have more fun next week. I hope to see you here. Bye for now, friends.